Now, I don't care what you say, but firewood is the nicest heat on Earth. One thing that really helps me get through the cold and and snowy and icy and dark time of the year is our fireplace. And just to be able to enjoy all the all the firewood that you worked so hard for all summer. And you started actually felling it last winter. There you see some firewood and then we fill up. We fill up this shed here. And even some big bags that when we run out of this in late, late winter. And my parents' house is heated with firewood. Our house is heated with firewood. My brother's house is heated with firewood. And it's just the nicest heat. There's nothing like it. I mean, those of you guys who who have a have a wood firewood oven or, or a wood stove or a fireplace in your house you know this I mean this heat it just it just goes into your bones and warms you up completely coming from inside now we we use mainly birch this is the most common tree in in Sweden I would say it grows from the south to the far north in Lapland and um, that's what we use. Sometimes we have a little spruce, sometimes we have a little pine. But where we live here in Sweden, birch is really the best and we have a lot of that in our forest. So that's that's the wood we use. I would like to show you some old Swedish or Scandinavian ovens um, and, and fireplaces that we use to heat our houses. Okay, so here we are inside of my parents' house, inside of the kitchen actually. This house was built in 1927, I believe, after the old farmhouse burned down. It's a log house, the floor is not insulated, the windows, you have actually two separate windows in the winter time, you put in the other two in the summertime, it's just a one glass, three, four millimeter thick glass, and it's an old feel, country feel home. It's wonderful, it's cozy. In the morning when you wake up, you can have close to freezing temperatures on the floor and so you really appreciate all the wood stoves that are in this house and the fireplaces. And I would like to show you um, the different designs, the different features. I think you will love it. So here's their wood stove. They use this for cooking often. And you see above here, they both dry food and they dry towels and they dry clothes in the winter time. And this is just incredible. See to the left, it's not in there right now, but here you can actually have a small water tank that's being heated by it. Underneath here, you have a lot of room for storage. You can have your fire starters in here. There's some bark from a birch tree and some pine cones. and. It's very handy like that because it dries very well. Now here the ashes go and I mean this this little stove it just burns so fast and so warm. They have the kitchen warm in no time. Yeah you have a little oven where you can bake a little pie or casserole if you want to. And here's where the wood goes in. Now you need quite thin wood and that's exactly what you want because you want to be able to control the heat fast and quickly. Uh, you know, put on the thin piece if you want it hotter and it burns down really quickly to get it um, not so hot. And I mean, this this really warms up the whole kitchen and even, even the dining room that's right next here, you see, that's right next to the um, to the kitchen here. Now look at this old floor, isn't this, isn't this beautiful? When we moved in here, there were there were two layers of plastic flooring on you. Can you believe that? And we ripped that out and this beautiful old floor showed up. Now, these boards, I don't know if you can see this, but they are not parallel. They are, on one end, they are maybe 10 inches wide. And on the other end, they are maybe only 
only seven inches wide. It's incredible. Really old floor and they made that fit. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's go to the other uh, wood stoves or fireplaces. Now look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This is one of the old Swedish traditional um, fireplaces called Kakelung. And what this does is it keeps the heat and those tiles, Kakel means tile, so it literally translated means tile oven. The heat will be stored in those tiles and it will radiate all night. I mean, look at it. Look at how pretty this is. Now this is for cleaning up there. And so once you have heated the oven enough and the fire has gone out, what you do is you, you pull on this line like this, it's open and you burn it and then you close it and the heat will stay in here. There are, there are two doors. This is the outer door that you always have open when it's burning. And this is the, this is the inner door. It has two holes where you can control the airflow and these things burn really well and you can you can have this open and see the fire at night and then you close it shortly before you want to go to bed to get the heat up and the heat will just it'll just be in these tiles and it'll be so nice and warm it's wonderful you only have to start this fire twice a day and it'll keep the heat for 12 hours easily. Here's another one. This is in the in the living room. Would you look at that? They're so beautiful. They are just amazing, amazing fireplaces. Now these things are expensive if you want to buy them. And I don't think that they are being built anymore. This is actually warm still. I think this was heated last last night. So this is about 20 hours ago. Now we are in my old room where I moved in after we moved to Sweden. And this used to just be an open fireplace and it was so insufficient, um, ineffective, the heat would just be pulled out through the, through the chimney. And so we, we bought this and put it in here. And I mean, this, this has a few kilowatts of, of, of heat it's just incredible. It burns slowly and then you go up here and the heat will come out of here again. And then you have the pipes. They go like this through this whole section before it goes into the chimney and out the roof. Beautiful, beautiful fireplace as well. I love this little feature where you have the metal pipe that leads into the chimney just inside of there and the heat comes out of there. Wonderful. Now would you look at this beauty, look at that, that oven is at least three feet tall, probably three and a half feet tall. And let me show you, it's just incredible. So down here at the bottom, this is where the ashes are and you can control the airflow. You can just turn this thing here and it controls how the air goes in and out. Um, just beautiful all cast iron look at this you can open this as well that's where you start the fire when you open this you just lift this up that's where you start the fire look there's actually some newspaper in there right now once you started the fire you close it you turn this it's closed and the firewood it actually goes in on top here now look at that you can put in two feet tall pieces that are quite skinny no problem and I mean you can fill that thing up I mean it's beautiful to look at just just beautiful oven and long long skinny fire pieces I mean from the workshop cutoffs you know from your lumber that you're using from from all the wood goes in here perfect and as a feature on top you could even heat up a tea kettle or something I mean this is I think both in design and and yeah just the looks it's, it's my favorite fireplace now this heats the whole upstairs except for 
one of the rooms we have one more fireplace in there. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? Look at it. This heats this whole room. So down here, that's where you control the airflow. Up here, look at it. Again, a spot where you can heat up some tea or whatever it might be. Just beautiful, beautiful design. And you put in the firewood on the side. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I just love it. And I mean, the heat. Look on the inside of that door. Look at that. That's the inside. You don't even see that. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm out in the workshop because one of our old ovens that broke um, is standing in here. But we have two of the same kind, one heating our house and one heating my brother's house. So let me dig it out and show it to you. Now this fireplace, I mean, we have used it forever. This is, I don't know how old, but it has cracked. So we bought another one for my brother's house. And I mean this thing, this is the exact same oven that is heating our house as well. And I mean we, I love it. It's simple, can heat up some water or food there, some soup, some stew. And you just put this thing, I mean you just fill it up with wood and it'll heat your house. That's the only heat source that my brother has, except for a little heater in the bathroom. It's the only heat source we use, even though our whole house has uh, floor heating. We just use the floor heating in the bathroom. We use, we heat up our whole house with this. I just love the heat. So I hope you enjoyed looking at all the different fireplaces and leave some comments below if you recognize some of those or maybe even share some some experience you've had with firewood or if you have nice ovens. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you and bye-bye.